The Wound Dresser by Walt Whitman, read for LibriVox.org by Chris Pyle. An old man bending, I come among new faces, years looking backward, resuming in answer to children, Come tell us, old man, as from young men and maidens that love me. Aroused and angry, I had thought to beat the alarm and urge relentless war, but soon my fingers failed me, my face drooped, and I resigned myself to sit by the wounded and soothe them, or silently watch the dead. Here's hints of these scenes, of these furious passions, these chances of unsurpassed heroes. Was one side so brave, the other was equally brave. Now be witness again, paint the mightiest armies of earth, of those armies so rapid, so wondrous, what saw you to tell us? What stays with you latest and deepest, of curious panics, of hard-fought engagements, or sieges tremendous, what deepest remains? O oh, maidens and young men I love, and that love me, what you ask of my days, those the strangest and sudden your talking recalls? Soldier alert, I arrive after a long march covered with sweat and dust. In the nick of time I come, plunge in the fight, loudly shout in the rush of successful charge. Enter the captured works, yet lo, like a swift-running river they fade, pass and are gone they fade. I dwell not on soldiers' perils or soldiers' joys. Both I remember well, many the hardships, few the joys, yet I was content. But in silence, in dreams' projections, while the world of gain and appearance and mirth goes on, so soon what is over-forgotten and waves wash the imprints off the sand, with hinged knees returning I enter the doors, while for you up there, whoever you are, follow without noise and be of strong heart. Bearing the bandages, water, and sponge, straight and swift of my wounded I go, where they lie on the ground after the battle brought in, where their priceless blood reddens the grass, the ground, or the rows of the hospital tent, or under the roofed hospital. To the long rows of cots, up and down each side I return, to each and all, after another I draw near, not one do I miss. An attendant follows, holding a tray, he carries a refuse pail, soon to be filled with clotted rags, and blood emptied and filled again. I onward go, I stop, with hinged knees and steady hand to dress wounds. I am firm with each, the pangs are sharp, yet unavoidable. One turns to me his appealing eyes. Poor boy, I never knew you, yet I think I could not refuse this moment to die for you, if that would save you. On, on I go, open doors of time, open hospital doors. The crushed head I dress, poor crazed hand, tear not the bandage away. The neck of the cavalryman with the bullet through and through examine, hard the breathing rattles, quite glazed already the eye, yet life struggles hard. Come, sweet death, be persuaded, O oh, beautiful death, in mercy come quickly. From the stump of the arm, the amputated hand, I undo the clotted lint, remove the slough, wash off the matter and blood. Back on his pillow, the soldier bends with curved neck and side-falling head. His eyes are closed, his face is pale, he dares not look on the bloody stump, and has not yet looked on it. I dress a wound in the side, deep, deep, but a day or two more, or see the frame all wasted and sinking, and the yellow-blue countenance see. I dress the perforated shoulder, the foot with the bullet wound, cleanse the one with a gnawing and putrid gangrene, so sickening, so offensive, while the attendant stands behind aside me, holding the tray and pail. I am faithful, I do not give out. The fractured thigh, the knee, the wound in the abdomen, these and more I dress with impassive hand, yet deep in my breast a fire, a burning flame. Thus in silence and dreams projections, returning, resuming, I thread my way through the hospitals, the hurt and wounded I pacify with soothing hand. I sit by the restless all the dark nights. Some are so young, some suffer so much. I recall the experience sweet and sad. Many a soldier's loving arms about this neck have crossed and rested. Many a soldier's kiss dwells on these bearded lips. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Thank you for listening.